NADS. Who calls a product NADS? The only NADS you should ever refer to is when you kick someone in the NADS. Wow. Alright guys, there it is. I'm off to the post office. I'm so late in posting this, it's not even funny. Her birthday's already been, so now it's just turned into really presents. <laughs> Although there's a birthday card in there, so... It still counts. Related gifts still count. Um, and yeah. Alright, I'm off to post office. Bye. Beautiful day. It rained last night. So it's nice and cool today. Much better than that shitty ass heat out of the weekend. My eye is so sore. I don't know what the hell I got in it last night, but it had just puffed right up. But I know you can still see. It's a bit swollen today. It hurts like a bitch. And to make it worse, I didn't sleep last night. I was up all night getting the... I was up all night getting the YouTube meetup videos online. So I cut the first one and it was like 16 minutes and 10 seconds. So I thought maybe YouTube would be lenient and let me do it. So I spent two and a half hours rendering it and an hour and a half uploading it. And by this time it was like 2 a.m. It uploaded fine, everything like that. And just as it was processing, the screen updated and said, I didn't even know what it says. I was just so angry. <laughs> Upload rejected, link too long or something like that. So I'll be there at this stage, I'm just like, fung -a -fung -a. and yeah. So then I cut the video into two, two eight minute segments, and I started to render both of them. I slept from about two until five, as I thought they'd be done. Wake up, my computer frozen, blue screened. So, rendering failed on those. We started the computer, started rendering the two eight minute segments again. Finished that about eight this morning. Then uploaded them both consecutively. All the annotations. I think I got them done by about 10 a.m. So I usually upload my videos at about 12, so I was about 10 hours behind, and I am so freaking tired, and my eye is killing me. And that's about it. How's your day? Good? Carry in this thing, like a loaf of bread. Almost at the post office, though. I reckon about $22 a cent. Yeah. The old ground penis. Yeah, so by twenty two dollars it is my guess. We'll see. Long line up is long. That's USA. Um what would the prices be depending on how I wanted to send it? Holy crap. When I bought this bag of you last week, you said it'd be a maximum $29 for up to 20 kilos. You said up to 20. Yeah. <laughs> I said last week it was going to Herbs International. Oh my god. So how much was it? 52 what? 52 <laughs> Oh yeah. I couldn't be asked drawing on the thing on the front again. Yeah, it was two and express. It's been the last time I took it. Alright, um, I'm gonna have to send it. I got no choice. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Is that it? So about how long would it take? Okay, thank you. Thank you. See ya. Hi. Hi. So it cost you your left testicle to post? 
$52.60. That's just disgustingly ridiculous. Well, because she didn't hear the word USA or international when we bought the thing last week. I said, you quoted me $29 to a maximum weight of 20 kilograms. And she goes, oh no, I never would have said that. I said, that was for Australia. And I said, when I bought it off you last week, I said I was sending it overseas to USA. So we've gone for something that was maximum $29, 52 dollars 60 So all you worry about filling it up because you didn't want to waste the space, and yeah. all you did was add to the weight. And even then, she tried to cut weight. She chopped the bag up, or the end off the bag, to try and get it under one and a half kilos. Or whatever weight it was. No, she didn't. So she chopped the bag unnecessarily. She didn't chop your thing though, did she? No. Oh. I just rewrite the addresses on it. I'm retarded. Fifty-two dollars to send something and ten working days. You're not recording. So, I'd light off. Oh, you had the light off, so she wouldn't know. Ten working days to send it. I need something cheerful. Let's go do something. <laughs> two drops for your poor eye. You're making my eyes water just looking at you. Okay. Food? Oh, yes, food. Oh, all right, let's go. Oh, it is coming this way. Do you know it's dearer to buy a house in Melbourne than it is in New York or London? Yeah, I can believe that. The report just came out. They're about. Yeah. Is that your newscasting? Is that all you got? Is that it? Severely unaffordable. Melbourne. That's no surprise to buyers like Emma Stepsich. Oh, that was that yes. snake, man? It was so long. <laughs> what was like a snake? <laughs> so, the thing that I just ate. <laughs> the poop you just did. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad I caught that on film. <laughs> Here comes the obligatory mum monotone. Did you find your balls? I found your balls. Check out my herbs, guys. Look how much they've grown this Christmas. The mint is just going nuts. Yar! Sweet, sweet, yarrr! Oh, okay. Now what happens when it rains and you make a swimming pool in the middle there and it collapses? It won't collapse because the balls are hanging onto the outside. Where's the water going to run off though? It won't. I'll just have to come out and... <laughs> ...and balance for it. See, like that. Gotta make valleys on the corners, see? Like that. Valleys on the corners. Yes. Yeah. So you think you're clever now, do you? Yeah. See, now there's a valley. So the water will go like that. You sure? Yeah. Positive. And then, and then the outdoor dining setting will be protected. Okay. Get them away, get them away, get them away, get them away, get them away. Good idea? Baby. Yeah, it probably was.